Britain needs to train and equip a citizen army to prepare for war, says Army Chief. Introduction Welcome to Capture the Intelligence, your go-to channel for the latest insights on global affairs. In today's segment, we delve into the recent statements by the UK Army Chief, highlighting the need to train and equip a civilian army for war preparedness. The increase in troop numbers is emphasized as a nationwide imperative. Stay tuned as we analyze and discuss the critical developments in this Times review. Recent reports reveal that the UK Army Chief has issued a stern warning advocating for the training and equipping of a civilian army to enhance the nation's preparedness for potential conflicts. The outgoing General Sanders emphasized that even even conventional battles may not be sufficient. Citing the groundwork laid by Eastern and Northern European allies for national mobilization, this public address by General Sanders critiquing the shortage of military personnel has garnered global attention. It aligns with earlier statements from the UK Defense Minister suggesting preparedness for potential NATO-Russia conflict and the possible conscription of British citizens. Recent revelations about Russia's comprehensive plans including potential attacks on Baltic states in defensive strategies further underline the urgency of military readiness. This discussion extends to the infiltration of non-democratic nations like the United Kingdom and the United Kingdom and the importance of the military's role in the conflict. The United Kingdom has been a key player in the conflict and the United Kingdom has been a key player in the conflict. The United Kingdom has been a key player in the conflict and the United Kingdom has been a key player in the conflict. The United Kingdom has been a key player in the conflict and the United Kingdom has been a key player in the conflict and the United Kingdom has been a key player in the conflict. The ongoing hearings in the UK regarding potential interference in elections by these countries reflect the severity of the situation. The UK appears to be acknowledging the depth of its vulnerability to such infiltrations, prompting hearings to assess foreign interference. The urgency in General Sanders' call for a civilian army aligns with global trends, including Germany's recent mobilization efforts, the looming possibility of military confrontation and war seems increasingly inevitable. The warnings issued by various sources, including our earlier insights on capture the intelligence, are now echoed by high-ranking military and defense officials in the UK. The notion of a citizen army is not without historical precedent. During World War I, Britain mobilized its civilian population to support the war effort, with millions of men and women serving in various capacities, from fighting on the front lines to working in factories and agriculture. The concept of a citizen army is rooted in the idea that every citizen has a responsibility to control contribute to the defense of their nation. It recognizes that in times of conflict, the military cannot bear the burden of defending the country alone and that the entire population must be prepared to play a role. In a broader context, the discussion extends beyond the UK, encompassing NATO allies such as Japan and newly involved countries like South Korea. The collective effort in these nations towards war preparedness highlights the growing concerns regarding the alliance of China, Russia, and Iran. This global shift underscores the gravity of the threats faced by democratic nations. The significance of early intelligence disclosure is exemplified by the revelations from Lude Media indicating comprehensive preparations by China, Russia, and Iran for
for a global conflict. Lewd media expert commentator stresses the authenticity of the 57-minute recording, showcasing unprecedented levels of military intelligence. The validation of these insights underscores the crucial role of early disclosure in global affairs. Sir Patrick's assertion regarding the need for a reliable land force beyond the maritime and aerial capabilities indicates a paradigm shift in military strategy. The call for a rapidly expandable civilian army to support frontline troops and provide resources for secondary units underscores the evolving nature of warfare. The heightened sensitivity of Eastern and Northern European allies to Russian threats necessitates a nationwide commitment to preparedness. As the NATO Military Committee chairman issues a warning and Sir Patrick addresses an international armored vehicle conference, it is evident that allies are gearing up for potential confrontations. The stark lessons from Ukraine emphasize the effectiveness of civilian armies in winning wars. The paradigm shift towards recognizing the importance of supporting land forces with lethal capabilities demonstrates the evolving nature of defense strategies. Conclusion In conclusion, the global landscape is witnessing a transformative shift in military preparedness, with nations like the UK leading the way in acknowledging the need for civilian armies. The alliance of China, Russia, and Iran is perceived as a credible threat prompting a collective effort by democratic nations to bolster their defenses. Capture the intelligence remains committed to bringing you timely insights into these critical global developments. If you found this video helpful remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.